Right, guys, welcome back. So we've just picked up this 1970s VW Baja bug. She's looking pretty sorry for herself, pretty outdated. We're going to bring this thing into the shop and we're going to turn this thing into a wild, colourful 1980s themed uh, off-road buggy. So once we get this thing buttoned up, we're going to run it through an auction and hopefully make some cash. So let's get creative. What's the next colour? Orange. Um, right, so we've just stopped in to see my mate Lee at LNS Signs here in Hertfordshire. Lee is going to design all the graphics for our buggy, so let's see what he can come up with. So now that we've finalised the design, Lee's printed this on vinyl with a clear coat over the top to protect it from the sunlight and fading. Um, let's get this thing fitted up and see how she turns out. So as far as the design goes, I kind of felt like the buggy looked pretty bland. You know, it didn't have a lot of pop to it. So the theme I had in mind was an off-road 1980s Baja bug, a little bit like your Tamiya RC radio control car you had as a kid. So that's where we took the design from, tweaked it, made it our own. She's going to be bright. Right guys, so if you're new here, please like, share and subscribe. We've got lots of other projects going on in the shop at the moment. This one here is our drag car. We're building from scratch, all in house, and lots of other classic restoration projects that we're gonna to take to auction. Right, so in a bit, we're gonna jump on the bench and we're gonna fab up a spotlight bar for the roof. We're gonna put six LEDs across the top. We have ordered some KC vinyl covers for the spotlights as well in black and white. And we're going to put the big buggy whip flag on the back of the bug. So this thing is gonna look like a life-size RC car. I can't wait. That is, yeah, is the straight. So the buggy whip flag has just turned up in the post. Let's unbox this thing and get it fitted to the bug. Yeah. Oh, spring whip. There she comes. Where did he put that on the roof? Yeah. That's going to be enormous, dude. <laughs> Five foot aerial off the roof. Or oh, we use this little bad boy on the uh, rear roll bar, which I yeah. think we'll probably I use that. Will, yeah. yeah. Full beach buggy now. Or off road Baja bug, I should say. <clears throat> Need some longer bolts here for the brackets. But a couple of cable ties will be fine for now. Six of those for the roof. So that's what we're thinking six across the roof. So we could have bought a light bar mount for this buggy. There's quite a few different variations available, but there was nothing that looked right in my opinion. Um, a lot of them were sort of radius to the roof. They were set too far back. What I did, I Googled some images and I found the, obviously the Hoonigan car they built uh, where the lights are sitting forward of the front screen um, and, and in, in a straight line. And I just think it looks absolutely killer. So we're gonna pinch that idea from them and make it our own. So let's jump on the bench and have something up.
Right, so not bad for a couple of hours' work. Let's get a coat of satin black on this thing and fit the lights up and offer it up to the car and see how she looks. So I wasn't quite sure how to fit this thing to the roof, whether to, to nut and bolt it or what, but what we did was we've got a pneumatic rivet gun here, so we put some uh, bonding compound underneath, four rivets, plugged them into the roof, and it's solid as a rock. Look at that. Right guys, so there she is. Bit of a makeover. Couple of weeks work. What came in is a pretty pretty clean bug. Just didn't look cosmetically right in my opinion. I was going for that old kind of RC Tamiya, you know, radio control cars we had as kids. I think it turned out pretty good. We're just waiting on a set of uh, vinyl covers for the spotlights. I've got some KC black and white covers, which I think will just set this thing right off. Not too bad, if I do say so myself. So this will conclude the second part of the build series. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to call the auction company in the next couple of days, get this thing photographed and uh, get it listed online in an auction and uh, see what she does. I'm kind of secretly hoping it's going to do really well. I think it turned out all right cosmetically. Definitely looks the part. So stay tuned for the next one where we run this thing over the auction block and fingers crossed we make some money. Thanks guys.